Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about some moving and shaking going on in the video game industry. Fortnite maker Epic is cutting 16% of staff. It's like 900 jobs. So if the company that makes Fortnite has to lay people off, what hope do the rest of us have? We're gonna talk about Jim Ryan stepping down from PlayStation, reactions to that. And does any of this have anything to do with SAG-AFTRA voting to authorize a strike against video game companies? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it does. I don't know, I'm just saying it's kind of weird a day or two after this was announced. We've got Jim Ryan stepping down from PlayStation and we've got um, you know Epic cutting a bunch of people loose. Um, and both of those companies are going to be struck companies, right? If they, they go on strike. So this could be them pleading poverty. Like, well, you don't have any more money. We don't have any more money to pay you guys. Cause you know, we, we just don't, we had to lay a bunch of people off. We're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, this is coming from Bloomberg. Jason Schreier wrote this article. Fortnite maker Epic Games is cutting about 16% of the staff, 16%. The company was spending way more money than they earn. Fortnite creator content program is a lower margin business. Again, this is Fortnite. This is like the biggest game on the planet. And they were spending more money than they were making. Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, is laying off 870 employees as it seeks to rein in costs. For a while now, we've been spending way more money than we earn, said Tim Sweeney, the uh, CEO. I had long since been optimistic that we could power through this transition without layoffs, but in retrospect, I see this was unrealistic. The job cut will affect about 16% of the workforce, according to people familiar with the matter, who asked not to be named disclosing information that's not yet public. Epic didn't immediately reply to a request for comment. Sweeney said Epic's recent growth has been driven mostly by the company's Fortnite creator program, which allows players to build and sell their own content within the game. Epic gives 40% of revenue to the creators, providing what Sweeney called a lower margin business than other revenue streams within Fortnite. Those previously established revenue streams, such as buying skins to personalize characters, had allowed the company to expand rapidly, Sweeney said, but today's lower profits can no longer support the company. Success with the creator ecosystem is a great achievement, but it means a major structural change to our economics. So they're based in North Carolina. Fortnite has more than 400 million users. They also produce the Unreal Engine, which it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that after the Unity debacle. Sweeney wrote in the email that there are no more layoffs planned. He said an additional 250 people will leave Epic through two divestitures, the sale of music site Bandcamp, which they just bought last year, and a spinoff marketing company called Super Awesome. I guess it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that awesome. About two thirds of the job cuts at Epic were in teams outside of core development. And the, as in the broader tech industry, it's been a year full of layoffs across gaming companies, big and small. Last month, the Swedish gaming conglomerate Embracer Group shut down Volition, maker of Saints Row. If only that game had sold well. Uh, Pokemon Go maker Niantic announced in June it's closing the LA game studio and canceling NBA Marvel titles in a restructuring. Epic is one of the biggest privately held video game companies in the world. Uh, Sweeney owns the majority of shares, while the Chinese conglomerate Tencent has a 40% stake. Employees who were affected by the job cuts will receive six months of severance. That's cool. And health insurance, as well as accelerated stock vesting. Uh, a lot of companies don't do that. They're still going to bitch and moan about it. I, I guarantee you they're going to complain. But that's, that's a pretty good deal for getting laid off, um, for sure. So... That's not the only big video game news that's dropped in the last day or two. Jim Ryan is retiring from PlayStation. He's the Sony Interactive President. And uh, this guy looks like he's way too old to be playing video games. <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah, Jim Ryan has announced he's going to retire in March of next year. Um, Hiroki Totoki, is that how you pronounce his name? Hiroki Totoki, the current COO and CFO of Sony Group Corporation, will be taking over from Ryan as interim CEO while he looks for a successor. He joined the company in 94 
And uh, he's, yeah, he's been here since pretty much the beginning, right? Jim Ryan will be remembered for leading the company through the launch of the PS5, as well as ag the aggressive stance and legal battle against the Microsoft Activision acquisition. How is that, that going to play out? Uh, following the sudden announcement earlier this morning, fans were left shocked and at the same time excited. Uh, yeah, salute to Jim Ryan. I hope he has a wonderful retirement. A lot of people are like, oh, thank God. Thank God he's gone. These are all positive. These are all positive. A lot of people were like, get the hell out of here. But yeah, it's just, it seems like, I don't know, guys. It seems like everything has been propped up artificially. It seems like everything in the last five to 10 years, everything we've known about media, everything we've known about video games, everything we've known about Hollywood, everything we've known about publishing, it seems like it's, it's all smoke and mirrors. It seems like, all these companies that are supposedly doing so well are not actually doing that well. Again, if you've got Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, laying people off, that's not a good sign for the rest of the industry. It really isn't. And then, again, the Unity debacle and all this other stuff going on. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to see a very uh, kind of lean, mean tech sector uh, going into the next decade. Um, for sure. I, I think we're behind a couple of years because of the pandemic, but I think... The 2020s are going to be a decade of uh, streamlining, of uh, change, and uh, I think that we're going to go back to hopefully hiring more competent people and getting rid of a lot of bloat. I mean, that's one thing that, that really has plagued that all sectors of the tech industry, whether it's uh, you know video games or social media or you know whatever it is. I think there's been an awful lot of bloat in tech, and I think we're starting to really pare back uh, on that. So we'll see what happens. There we go, guys. Epic Games laying off 16% of its staff. Going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.